Hello? Last week, a partner come and talked to me and said, recently I got a Wi-Fi project, but the end user is going to drop these options. They don't want to be Wi-Fi because uh, they want to explore the possibility for the carrier to provide the 5G network to cover the whole offices. And then they use the connectivity instead of okay, building their own Wi-Fi. So this is quite a good idea. The carrier provide the 5G infra to uh, support all the connectivity requirement from the customer, from an enterprise customer. This is a great idea. But before we look into this, we cannot just draw the conclusion, say, oh, 5G can replace Wi-Fi. So that's why, okay, when I talk to this partner, they bring this story to me, and then I would like to share my point of view and my experience in terms of this topic. Can 5G replace Wi-Fi, or what is these two technologies differentiator, how they can do? Can one replace the other? So this uh, week, I would like to go uh, through this topic and share my experience to all of you. When we try to discuss this topic, we need to define the scope that we want to discuss. I don't want to discuss, okay, very broad, because sometimes people will be talking about the 5G to replace the home broadband, the last mile access, using like uh, the copper or even the fiber G point technology. I'm not going to touch this. So when I'm talking about the scope, I just want to discuss the technology, say the last mile access, the wireless last mile access. That means the technology to connect to your handheld devices, like your mobile phone, your local, your uh, tablet, okay. So other than this, we want to define the scenario, say oh, in the government offices, in the university campus, in the large enterprise office, uh, most of them are indoor environment, indoor environment. So is it like uh, feasible to use 5G to replace Wi-Fi? So this is what I want to discuss and share. We try to limit the scope. If it is, uh, of course, uh, there may be some scenario may be benefit for 5G, not Wi-Fi. Or some scenario may be benefit for Wi-Fi, not 5G. But I still want to say, okay, just define the scope first, and then we can share more about the detail. When we compare, okay, two technology, some other requirements, okay, we need to consider. What are the requirements, right? We are talking about the cost, the total cost of ownership. How much you need to pay for this technology when you deploy, when you use it. Say for example, right, monthly rental cost, your device cost, your recurring cost, like uh, do you need to pay power? Do you need to pay what other costs, right? So you need to consider everything, support and maintenance operations, the second consideration is okay whether it is very easy to deploy the technology. And then, do you need to support different applications in your environment when you deploy this technology? Say, ah, when I use this technology, I need to connect my printers. I need to connect my IP cameras. I uh, have some server okay, in my office. I want to connect these uh, servers and some applications for my users. Can this technology solve your problem? These are your requirements. You need to think about this. And finally, the security concern. If you are building your own network, you can manage. If you are using a carrier infrastructure, so is it safe? It's a great idea. You don't need to pay a lot of money, but you still need to consider your requirements. If security is one of your considerations, your requirements, so that you cannot escape. So we need to think about this first. Other than this, we also need okay, to understand the technology behind. Of course, we are not going to talk to you all the detail about the Wi-Fi technology and the 5G technology because it can be easily, okay, Google it. You can check all the definitions. If you have time, you understand. But here, I give you a very brief summary of these two technologies, the key differentiator. First of all, the key differentiator of 5G and Wi-Fi, from my point of view, I don't want to talk technology, pretty simple to understand. 5G is running on license band. You need to pay money. Don't tell me 5G is cheaper than Wi-Fi. Cannot. Because uh, all the license band, even you don't pay, your carrier have to pay. When the carrier pay for the license fee, they will charge the user back. That means 5G license band 
its guaranteed performance, it must be charged with some money behind. Wi-Fi, as I said, is unlicensed band. Everybody can use it. It's free of charge. The only thing, the major difference is not guaranteed performance comparing to the license ban. So when you use the technology, you have to understand you do you use something free, of course you suffer a little bit about the not guaranteed performance. If you are using the paid services with some cost, the performance will be guaranteed. So the user need to understand what you are going to use and what you are going to have. Because uh, you pay, you get better. You don't pay, you get not guaranteed performance. So this is the major differentiator and will determine the total cost of ownership when you use the technology. And in terms of the technology differentiator, we have to understand some of the key things. 5G is very advanced technology, no doubt, no argue. Wi-Fi very fundamental. You can go to the computer more and buy a Wi-Fi AP, very low cost. But you cannot go to the comp uh, to computer more and to buy the 5G AP, right? No 5G AP. 5G is uh, must from the carrier. So 5G, of course, is a complicated technology, and Wi-Fi is simple. So these are fundamental concepts. You are very difficult to manage 5G. You need to rely on your service provider. Wi-Fi, you can do it by your own. And 5G can support high mobility. When you are driving, when you are moving around. So when you're in a place to another place, right? 5G, okay, will connect everywhere. So Wi-Fi more favor on the local network connectivity. When you know the characteristic, then you know what you do. So after you understand the scope, after you understand the differentiators, then what is right now the carrier concept, talking about the shared carrier 5G infrastructure concept to the enterprise customer. The case that my partner bring to me bring to me is if the carrier say oh in the school campus, in the government offices, okay, the carrier itself, I will build a 5G infra. And I can partition part of the infra to serve as an internal network for this customer. This is a great concept. As the customer, I don't need to pay any money, I just pay services. It's just OPEX, no capex. I don't need to consider like a surface operations, maintenance, whatever. Everything is a surface. If you are not good, I can switch another. Great concept. But when we look into this, we need to think about what you need. First of all, if you are looking for just simple internet connectivity, yes, it can be done. So these are the requirements that we have to go through. But if you are talking about oh, how I can connect my in-house devices, like in the school campuses, I got some printers, I got some IP cameras, I have my application servers for the enterprise customer. I got my accounting system, a CRM system, ERP system. It's not in the cloud, it's on-premises. How can I connect this? Is 5G, okay, the right technology you deploy in the campus environment, in the enterprise environment for all the connectivity? You need to think about this. And also, when you build up your uh, internal IT, you still need to build your level infra. You still need to lay your cable. You still need to lay your switch run. For just the wireless connectivity, why not you plug another AP on top of your level infra? Instead of, oh, I subscribe to wireless services and make sure the 5G, how they connect okay to our office network. So this will make the case more complicated. So this is a pros and cons, and we need to make a balance. And finally, just as I said before, we need to think about the data and network security when we are going to use a shared carrier 5G infra, because the carrier 5G is serving for the public, for the mass market. And right now they partition, and how they provide you the security, how they uh, provide you the data security. So you need to understand the technology behind, and then when you deploy, so after we understand everything, then I talk to my uh, I talk to my partner. And say, finally, you need to choose the right technology for the right, right scenario. That means for different customer, different end user. If you have your requirements, you have your scenario to deploy the wireless technology. Uh, you need to choose. 
not just listening, say, oh, this is good. Uh, this helped me okay, to solve some of the problem, but you don't consider the others. So it come up some of the examples that I would like to share to my friends. First of all, for some of the country, developing countries, when they are providing the wireless access technology in the last mile, they prefer to use Wi-Fi because in the rural area, very, very few end users, it may not justify to build a 5G base stations to bring the connectivity for those rural areas. And Wi-Fi may be the better options for them as the last mile wireless access technology. So this is referring to the scope that we define for the comparison. When we're talking about another scenario, a container port. A container port, there are a lot of like a machines, lorries, container ships, all moving around. And how you bring this connectivity for those devices with some obstacles to stop the radio, whatever. You need a very comprehensive 5G radio to cover the whole area. So in this scenario, if you can leverage on top of the carrier 5G info. This is a good choice, no doubt. And when we talk about like a campus environment in a local area network, Wi-Fi may be a better choice to provide the last mile wireless connectivity. And finally, if a company say, I got everything on the cloud. Right now, I sit at my office, all the users Every user just connect to the internet and go to the cloud and get my applications, my CLM, my ELP, everything, and my email all on the cloud. Then, no problem. You can make use of the carrier 5G infra to extend your coverage, your network connectivity. So you don't need to build any infra in your office. So based on different scenario, the user can use and leverage different technology. As a result, I still can see Wi-Fi has the survival space in the coming five to 10 years in the market. So I do believe uh, Wi-Fi is still a good choice in quite a number of the scenario in the market. So this is the sharing today. Thank you.